An input-output table is shown below. Determine the rule required to get from each input to its corresponding output. Is it A, multiply by 9? Is it B, multiply by 30? Is it C, multiply by 300? Or is it D, multiply by 90? Let's examine what we, what we have in the input and output values and see if we can find a common factor that we're multiplying by. So I'm going to put a multiplication sign after each number. And now let's examine first the non-zero digits that we have. 6 to 18, what do I have to multiply by? 5 to 15, what do I multiply by? 7 to 21, what do I multiply by? 9 to 27, what do I multiply by? It ends up being 3. 6 times 3 gives us 18. 5 times 3 gives us 15. 7 times 3 is 21. 9 times 3 is 27. Now let's look at the zeros to determine if we're going to have 3, 30, 300, or 3,000 as the number that we're multiplying by. Our first set is 60 and 18,000. 60 has one zero in it already. So this first zero that occurs in 18,000 is taken care of by the 60. That leaves us with two more zeros. So I'm thinking it's going to be 300. Let's keep checking. 5 doesn't have any zeros. We have two zeros left over. We put two zeros after the three to make it 300, we would indeed get 1,500. 7,000 has three zeros. So that accounts for the first three zeros in 2,100,000, leaving us with two remaining. So if we put 300 as the second factor, it does take care of these two extra zeros. 90 has one zero, and 27,000 has three. So the first zero is taken care of by the 90, leaving us with two extra. So if we change three to 300, it does indeed work for every single input-output pairing that we have. So the correct answer here is C, multiply each input value by 300.